We've been through droughts before, but nothing like this. Low water levels and lack of rain is hitting citrus growers hard. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Channel 5 News at 6. I'm Dina Herrera Garza. Rudy has the night off. We spoke with growers who are destroying their groves and potentially millions of dollars in crops. As Channel 5's Lily Celeste reports, they hope it saves them in the long run. Lily. Hey, Dina, yeah, that's right. Smaller groves and fewer trees means that growers can focus their limited water supply on healthier trees that they know can survive another season. When Dale Murden visits his citrus groves near Combs, he's reminded of the tough summer him and fellow Valley farmers are facing. You and I aren't sitting that far from the sugar mill, and so we all know that sad story, and uh, we're fighting to, to not become that. Part of that fight to survive actually means having to cut back. These piles were once thriving citrus trees. So this grove was removed. This past month, Murden decided to bulldoze roughly 40 acres of citrus trees. He says he couldn't water them. If he had the resources he needed, he tells us that grove might have made him $750,000. Drought, record high temperatures, and lack of water meant he had to decide which trees he would keep. It's not the first grove he's had to let go of. So we're taking what water allocation we had here on, on maybe some of the less productive stuff and moved it over to the more productive stuff. Now the land will be used for different crops that require less water. Merton says it costs about $2,000 per acre to clear out groves and prep them for new crops. He's not the only grower having to prioritize certain trees. We're having to spend the, 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 the money we have to, to make a crop in the ones that, that have the best potential. Fred Carley has citrus groves in several irrigation districts throughout the valley. Some of them are more favorable and some of them are just completely out of water. He hasn't bulldozed trees because of the drought, but he did lose some to the 2021 freeze. He says he doesn't want to do that again. He also doesn't want to switch crops. Uh, you know, I'm a citrus grower. That's my calling. You're optimistic about it? Yeah, yeah, we have to be. We have to be. Some, like Carly, are toughing it out. Others are taking a chance, hoping fewer trees help in the long run. And it's a tough, tough, tough decision. You can't ever say if you did the right thing or not. We told you earlier this week our reservoirs dropped to the lowest that they've ever been. This is even before summer when they typically drop during the heat. And Dina Merton tells me he actually took a trip to Washington this week to push elected officials to do something about the situation. Reporting live in Mission, Liz Celeste, Channel 5 News.